I want to talk today about the Roman Catholic Church. A lot of people ask me, am I a Christian? Because they know I used to belong to the Roman Catholic Church. I found out along the way that the Roman Catholic Church are in the money business. The same as the prosperity gospel people. They're not interested in people. They're only interested in money. And they're liars when they say they, they, are, they want to be Christians. But they're not Christians. They haven't got a clue when it comes to Christianity. Jesus Christ died for our sins. Also for everything that was wrong with us. He wanted to put it right. And we agree with that. We agree with that. And we're prepared to submit to him and go with him. But the Catholic Church is a lie, a complete and utter lie. I was brought up with that lie. Give money to the black babies and everything. They never gave a penny to the black babies. There's all the places they used to talk about. Believe it or not, but my mother wrote them down. And I went to them places. There was no Catholic Church there at all. They were telling lies. They were in it for the money. And they weren't looking after the people at all. I went to Uganda thinking they, they were right. They were positive right. And when I got there, all I met was poor Christians. Poor Christians. And not, not happy Christians, but poor Christians. And it made me realize that you can't call yourself a Christian unless you go out on the street and witness to somebody. No matter what the case may be, if you don't go out and tell them people that they need to be saved, then you're nothing. And most, most Catholics don't do that. And when it comes to the priests, they're the last people to do it. They're terrified of people. They go around saying that they're doing deliverance on people. They don't have a clue about deliverance. Deliverance means you go and cast out the demon out of people, and the people become normal. You with me? And then they give their lives to Jesus, and they become holy people. Can't say that about the Catholics. The majority of Catholics that I know haven't got a clue, and they're not being taught anything. They have no, no future whatsoever. Do you realize when you die, you'll go to hell. You're no different than the Muslims. The Muslims think because they pray to Allah, who's not a, not a good deity at all, that they'll go to heaven. They won't go to heaven. Jesus said you must be born again to get to heaven. And to be born again means somebody who has to pray with you a prayer of agreement. Otherwise you're not. You can't take a, the prayer and say it and think you got it. You haven't got it. You have to say it in an agreement with another Christian who is born again. The reason I'm saying these things, I was in Leicester Square last night at about 12 o'clock and I met some poor people, hurting people, and they were Muslims, believe it or not. They were c crying about this young girl that was killed and they'd done nothing about it. And I can't understand, you've got thousands and thousands of Muslims in England and nobody is doing anything about it, but a handful of Christians are doing something about it. And we're supposed to go there and be part of that and get, get the people free. And we're not doing that. You with me? We're walking away from what's right to be done. We should be over there doing something about it in Iran and taking these people down and putting them under the hammer and putting them under the law, you with me? And taking them out of leadership because they're not fit to lead when they kill a 16-year-old girl with a high, high jump, not covering her hair. That is just diabolical and terrible. I heard a man talking about this on Friday night and I thought it was terrible. How can you call yourself a Muslim in one country and another country next door is being wickeder, wickeder, even worse than Muhammad was? Muhammad killed loads of people, even though you don't talk about it because you're hiding it. But if you do talk about it, you'll find out that Muhammad was just as bad as that people last night. You know. Anyway, I'm getting back to the Catholic Church. I was brought up in the Catholic Church, and I thought they were good, great people, but they weren't really. They were robbers and thieves. They were after the money. My mother used to give them money every week. My mother would starve us so that they could have money. That's what my mother was like. 
But I found out along the way they were wrong and they were doing things wrong. And now I tell you what, the truth is coming out. Because people are asking me questions in the street. In Leicester Square they ask me questions. And we have a place where we can talk now at Trivago Square and we, we can talk. And we want all the Christians and non-Christians to be out there talking. Because when God comes here, you can't say, I knew you, Lord. You can't say it if you're not doing what he's called you to do. If you're not talking his language, you're heading for the same place as the Muslims and the Roman Catholics and everybody else is not going there. We have to be out there witnessing, telling people the truth about God, what Jesus did on the cross, and sets us all free. Amen.